friendships at South Bay have helped me a lot because I used to not want to come because I didn't feel accepted and then I went to youth camp and I made a bunch of friends and a lot of important relationships and I learned things about people that I have in common with them that I need help on and they helped me. I feel like the small groups that we have in our youth ministry are really good for getting to know people more and build stronger friendships just because you get to sit down with people, you can talk to each other and you know have productive conversations and get to know each other more. I think relationships are very important because you might be going through something that you think you're alone in, but like if you talk to someone, then you see what they've gone through and see that they've gone through something similar that is relating to you in case you're in the middle of something and they've already gone through it. <laughs> um, and they'll help you to get through it. Cool. Toby Hansen. I am currently part of the Men's Ministry Journeyman. I am a co-leader with my wife for Comfort After Combat small group or care group. Um, and then I am in the Children's Ministry security team. I would have to say that the relationships from South Bay have impacted my walk with the Lord in many facets through men's ministry, the care groups, and, and being in prayer partner teams, and just the relationships in general with the men and women at South Bay. Uh, your ability to fully disclose things in your past and receive nothing but love and affirmation and the knowledge that you will receive no condemnation at all from those people uh, and assistance to walk through those things and, and lay them at the feet of Jesus and work through them and continue on on a good path is the, the best way I can describe how relationships here really, really help uh, not only me but, but friends of mine that have gone through the same thing not only a relationship with the Lord, but relationships in general are very important. You can't shut yourself out to the world and expect to have everything go the way you plan it. You have to be able to share with others. You have to be able to not only give, but receive, and receive openly and honestly, and give openly and honestly to those people you have a relationship with in order to grow. You can't grow as a single entity. You have to grow as a unit. And that's what this church affords everyone.